Myers, this is Angela. Their duty allows us to enjoy the holiday with a peace of mind. But for many of the U.S. Armed Forces, Thanksgiving Day means eating alone without their loved ones. KMIR 6's Anthony Alvarez shows us tonight how local families are welcoming them into their homes. At the Toscana Country Club, the bus rolls in. And as soon as the doors open, <laughs> Marines from 29 Palms line up to a cheering crowd. Most of them just enlisted and are without a nearby family. That's why many feel this meal is so important. It's a nice thing and it's the least we can do for them. AJ Ciante will treat a Marine to a home-cooked meal. The American Friends of Our Armed Forces, or AFAF, organized the Adopt-A-Marine for Thanksgiving event four years ago. Several Valley Country Clubs took part in it. Board Director Judy Van Benthuizen welcomes two Marines. My father was in World War II, and my grandfather was in World War I. And so I just have a soft spot in my heart for our military. If you weren't here having meals with Judy, a meal with Judy, what would you be having today? Uh, chow hall. Chow hall. <laughs> What's on that menu? No idea. Very grateful since I'm far away from my family. AJ Siante and Lori Ng, where are you? Siante meets Anthony LaRocca for the first time. And after photo shoots, families take them home for a few hours to watch football and eat. We've got turkey and we've got a very special, my fiance is Chinese, so she makes a very special Chinese dressing. A family recipe for generations. LaRocca can't wait to dig in. I'm plenty hungry. The chow hall was closed this morning. As, as you've seen, they're very welcoming. I mean, they make me feel right at home. It's great. They all just finished basic training and have no idea where they'll be stationed next. At least five other country clubs were involved today. News. More than 329 Palms Marines join roughly 170 families for the fourth annual Adopt a Marine Thanksgiving program. News Channel 3's Hernan Quintus visited a family in Palm Springs who hosted some hungry young Marines. It was an exciting day for the Potts family who welcomed 20 young Marines into their home for a Thanksgiving feast. Hi, thank you. Hello. How many more handsome men are coming? Some of them are still teenagers and for the very first time are away from home during the holiday. It didn't take long for these Marines to feel comfortable and feel at home. They watched football, chatted and took a dip into the jacuzzi. It's great. I love the fact that a family would come and take us in like this is just amazing. These people were nice enough to open their home to us, so myself and some of my other Marines. They serve us and so it's a nice way to give back and a lot of these Marines, most of them are very young. A lot of them haven't been ho away from home before, so this is a, a way that they can celebrate the holiday and, and uh, you know, be with family. There were a total of seven buses filled with Marines based out of 29 palms that headed for the desert. Well, today's a very special day. We have over 300 Marines in the valley with 10 clubs where we've arranged host families to spend a wonderful Thanksgiving day. 170 valley families joined forces to adopt a Marine for Thanksgiving. This program has grown dramatically since it started four years ago. And thanks to families like the Potts, the young Marines will be taking home more than Thanksgiving leftovers. We have AT&T cards in there for all of you to call home to your folks or loved ones over the holidays. And um, there's letters from a second grade uh, class that they all vote letters to you. On a day to give thanks, the families who hosted Marines are rewarded with knowing they've made some new friends. If you ever want some Marines to stop by, they'll be happy to come because <laughs> they love having some place to go on Thanksgiving. Hernan Quintas, News Channel 3, Palm Springs.